Ladies, gentlemen, it is your amazing hoster. It is Team Rai Rai. And how are you doing on this Friday's edition? I am doing splendid. Anyway, you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and of course, my Facebook page is called The Rai Rai Show. I've been doing it for a while. Anyway, the link will be down below. Hopefully, someone out there on YouTube or any other social media accounts will want to be part of it and DM me and I'll give you further details. What's so hard about that? Okay, people, I'll discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's get into this. Dave Mulzer has more details in the Wrestling Observer newsletter about WWE ticket sales for the event such as Summer Sam in Las Vegas on August 21st for the first time on a Saturday, I think. Now you guys could check this out. Now listen to this. Raw on August the 2nd in Chicago has been sold. Holy cow. That's a lot of tickets. That is nuts. I guarantee by the time August 2nd rolls around, there will be a full capacity. Because people are dying to go to a wrestling event in any cities like Chicago, New York, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Memphis. Phoenix, anywhere, because people are dying to go, okay? But, will the WWE change their tune, change their product after a while? Probably not. They should have done that a while ago. Maybe they'll do, maybe they may, sorry, maybe, just maybe, things will change once they have live audience. I flipping doubt it. It's going to be the same old, same old. People will complain and all that other stuff. I think the only reason people want to go to SummerSlam because number one, it's in Las Vegas and possibly have Seth Rollins versus Edge. You know, it's all rumors. You can't believe all these rumors until it's official from WWE only. Or it could be John Cena versus Roman for the belt. I really don't want to see that. I'm sorry. I don't. Roman should face like Cesario, but I guess I don't know what they're thinking. I have no idea. I guess they want to do all the stops for this year's SummerSlam because they have to make it up to the fans because 2020 was a horrible year for everyone, especially the WWE, in my opinion. Okay, it was horrible. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say especially, but. For everybody in 2020. But everyone managed to survive. You know. The outbreak so far. You know. Anyway. What's your thoughts on this? You know. Do you think. That this year's SummerSlam. Will break. A lot more records. Than the past SummerSlams. Or what? I was just wondering. I hopefully. That we. Will go all out. On the SummerSlam stage. I miss the good old days. The last few years, WWE has been so fucking lazy. Or maybe they just don't want to spend a lot of money on stages. Hopefully they do it this year. We'll see. Another thing I want to discuss real quickly about Pyro. Is that really necessary when the wrestler comes out? They got to shoot Pyro this, Pyro that? No, that's ridiculous. You know how much money that WWE is wasting for doing that? Dumb. They should only do it for like the beginning of the pay-per-view. And that's it. They don't need a sh shoot off pyro for Charlotte Flair, um, Sasha Banks, Rome Reigns. Come on, people, just do it for the main show, okay? Not the main show, but when the show kicks off, you know, have a nice video package, then shoot off firework. But whatever W wants to do, let them do it, you know? 
you know they pissing money away like crazy I like, pyro this pyro that and I think that I hire somebody or they have their own people to do it I don't know whatever I just don't I'm tired of the the pyro this pyro that you know but you know I love the video package the intro how they ever they do it they did it for a while they kick off raw but some stupid reason off the record they stop doing it and they go right into the show what's the point of having an intro of you know what i'm saying i hate when they skip it i don't think anybody has ever paid attention to that i love it so what's your thoughts on this so i don't know if you believe this dave Moser guy and a lot of you don't like him you know whatever i guess he has been a around a long time okay everyone have a good one and i'll see you guys tonight be safe and that wraps it up are you guys looking forward to money bank i'm looking forward to it, it better be a very good show later